In this video, we're going to look at the representations of functions as a power series. So we start with the equation that we've had before. So it's just the geometric series x to the nth um, power. So when we did that one, it converges to 1 over 1 minus x. And it converges when x is less than 1. So I know that I can express that sum as just 1 over 1 minus x. And that's going to give me the same answer as doing that sum out to infinity. When well, we're looking at this part, we're going to be having that representation, and we have to go back to create the actual series. So here's a couple partial fractions um, of how it's going to actually work out. So let's look at our first example. So my sum is 1 over 1 plus x squared. Now remember, the original function was 1 over 1 minus x. So I've got to make that equation in that format. So I'm going to change the bottom to 1 minus or 1 over 1 minus negative x squared. So that's why I have the 1 minus part there. So my the x value is now negative x squared. And I just replaced the x value in my series with negative x squared. Now we do a little bit of rearranging so that it actually looks in the correct format. I'm going to pull out the negative sign, so I have negative 1 to the nth power, so now it's an alternating series. And I put the 2 with the n, because it's n time n to the second power, so I can put it all together there. The last part that we have to do is figure out when it converges. So the normal series converges where the absolute value of x is less than 1. So again, I'm going to replace the x with negative x squared. So negative, the absolute value of negative x squared is just x squared. So I have x squared is going to be less than 1. And to figure that, to do the calculations out, I get the absolute value of x is less than 1. So my interval convergence is negative 1 to 1. In this example, I start off with the problem 1 over x plus 2. Now, in this problem, remember, we want to get back to the 1 over 1 minus x. So, the first thing I have to do is pull out a 2, and then I have to make that x be 1, so it's 1 minus something. So, in this case, I pull out the 2, I'm left with 1 over x, 1 plus x over 2. And then I'm going to pull out a negative sign, so I have 1 minus negative x over 2. So, my x is now going to be negative x over 2, so that's what goes inside of my um, series. And then I have a 1 half on the outside, because that's what that 2 is in front of the parentheses on the bottom, so that's that one half. I need to move it all inside, and I need to rearrange it a little bit. So I'm going to move the one half inside, and I'm going to pull out the negative sign. So I have negative one to the nth power over two to the n plus one. Two to the n was from the series inside here, and then the plus one is that two that was over here. And then I have the x to the n at the end. The last piece I have to do is figure out when it's going to be convergent. So again, it's the absolute value of x is less than 1. So I'm going to simplify this down. I'm going to get rid of the negative sign because the absolute value does that. And I'm going to multiply both sides by 2. So I end up getting the absolute value of x has to be less than 2. So this converges from negative 2 to 2. So for this example, yeah, I have x to the third over x plus 2. Now, if you look at this one compared to the last one, you notice I still have the x plus 2 on the bottom. I just have an x to the third added to the top. So using what we already know, I know I can pull out the x to the third, so I have x to the third times 1 over x plus 2. I already know what 1 over x plus 2 is. So I don't have to go back through and do all that work again. So I'm just going to put that in place. So with the x to the third on the outside. Now I need to move the x to the third back on the inside. And I do that by changing that n next to the x to n plus 3. Now, my x, the interval of convergence is going to be the exact same as the other one because my x never changed. That n plus 3 doesn't actually make any difference. It's no different than just having an n because it's going to keep going up. So my interval of convergence is still going to be negative 2 to 2.